Describe for me what Birmingham was like. Birmingham's profile is dismal. You know, uh, rain swept and factories and belching smoke and it's a very industrial place. You could go into the factories or you could go to prison or you could be a gangster. Birmingham had a, a massive hammering during the World War II. There's still a lot of bombed out buildings around. Uh, the place on the corner where I grew up was completely demolished by bombs in the war. Where we lived, it was um, very, very working class. It's a lot of immigration there, very mixed racially and culturally. And a lot of uh, street fighting. <laughs> so how did this sort of horrible reality influence what Black Sabbath sounded like? We'd all had some, some feelings about the counterculture or the, a lot of the peace movements. But I think all of us had um, an attitude to, well, that's all well and good, but that's not what's going on right now. I'm, I'm sitting there looking at a guy getting his guts beaten up. Our music began to take a really good look at what was really on the ground or really what we were seeing. The country was inundated with blues bands. Um, and they all sounded the same and all looked the same, all smelt the same, and they all wore the same denim jackets and all the guitar players played 60 mile long solos. And we were all anxious to get out of that because all five of us believed the band was going somewhere. So we had to do something different. We'd jam around and see what we came out with. And we came out with the song Wicked World. That put us on, you know, thought, well, this is good, you know, we can do it. We'll have a go at another one. And the second song was Black Sabbath. And we just thought, God, this is really weird, different. Let's just give it a try. Went on the next gig and we did the gig. And we played it right at the end, Black Sabbath. And the crowd just went absolutely mental. And they were saying, play that again, play that again. So we played it again, played it three times. <laughs> and we just realised, you know, that we, we had something that nobody else had. When we would sit down and make a piece of music together, uh, one of the things that I would try to create with drums uh, a lot of atmosphere, definitely use a lot of toms to bring about certain words. When Ozzy sang, what is this that stands before me? I knew where I had to go with the toms. I could have gone boo ja, boo boo ba, boo ba, boo. It would never have worked. In some ways, they were almost a jazz band. If you listen to what Bill and Giza are playing, Giza's not playing rock, really. He's playing like sort of almost modern jazz. Very intricate stuff. My first thoughts were it's a heavy metal band. As they went on, I realized they were much more than that because a lot of the lyrics were not only intelligent, but they dealt with some difficult subjects. And musically, they were terrific. It happened so incredibly fast. The first album charted, and you know, I think it came in number 13. We didn't know anything about it. We were in a car going to a gig and we were listening to the album charts and um, blokes said, and in new at 13 this week, we had Black Sabbath. I mean, what? Is there another band called Black Sabbath? And then they played a track off it and it was us. The week it went on the charts, it sold. We did 5,200 records the first week. From that moment on, we were on a crusade. We knew that we got something very, very special. And from that moment on, it became really serious. To what extent did you consider yourselves a heavy metal band? We just thought uh, we were a hard rock band at the time. That's what, that's what we liked. And the first I'd heard of being called heavy metal it was a, somebody being derogatory about us. That it, I read this review when we were on tour, criticizing us as usual. And it says that, that it sounded like a load of heavy metal being dropped, not musically whatsoever. The words heavy metal were never bandied around in those days. We, we're just, just a heavy rock band. That's, that's, a, that's how Sabbath saw themselves, um, without re realizing that they'd invented a whole genre. Black Sabbath was the band that first defined heavy metal for me and seriously had that sort of heavy approach that really seemed like these guys are for real. Are they that band that sets in motion this music that came to be called heavy metal? If there's one band that did it, it's, and if there's one album that did it, it is the first Black Sabbath album. Because that influenced a whole generation of kids that five years, six years later appeared as heavy metal bands.